Hi, we've lived uh, near Chinatown in Singapore for about five years now. We never get bored of the area. There is so much to do here. Great food, shopping, interesting temples and a bustling market. But one of the great joys about Chinatown is really just walking around and soaking up the great atmosphere. So come with us and we'll show you some of our favorite places in Singapore's most vibrant area. Located here in the basement of the Chinatown complex is a bustling market serving the Chinese community and local restaurants. We come here every couple of weeks for our fresh fish and prawns, vegetables, herbs and spices. Of course, as you might expect from a Chinese market, there are also plenty of more unusual foods for sale, including live frogs and turtles. If you're a visitor to Singapore and curious to see a real working Chinese market, it's worth a quick look around. So this is my favorite part of Chinatown. Cheers. If you're hankering after a great drop of beer and away from the more touristy areas, then head up to the second floor of Chinatown complex and make your way to the Smith Street side. Here, you'll find a little oasis of craft beer stalls selling a really good selection of local and foreign craft ales. Hi, we're at Chinatown Hawker Center and we're about to try one Michelin star chicken soy sauce. Still on the second floor of Chinatown complex is this place, Hong Kong soya chicken rice. It's become famous and won one of Singapore's first ever Michelin stars a few years ago. The food is ridiculously cheap and tastes amazing. The char stew they serve here is is our favorite in all of Singapore. If you're looking for something a little bit more spicy, then head to nearby Mosque Street, where there are many restaurants serving Sichuan food. We often go to this place, Chongqing Grilled Fish, for their fragrant and very spicy fresh fish. Be warned though, you'll need to bring your spicy food A-game with you to really enjoy it. Chinatown is home to at least three major temples from different faiths and represents the diverse racial and religious harmony of Singapore. The Buddhist Tooth Relic Temple is a modern one, completed in 2007, and while the exterior is not the most beautiful of temples, the interior is much more interesting. It houses over 100 individual Buddhas, as well as the Tooth Relic, which is on the fourth floor. A little further along South Bridge Road is Singapore's oldest Hindi temple, founded in 1827 and richly embellished with six tiers of sculptures of Hindu deities. Neighbouring Jamai Mosque was established in 1826. This is perhaps the least visited of the three, but well worth a visit. It's not really changed at all since this photograph from the last century. If you're lucky, one of the friendly mosque staff will happily talk to you about the mosque and its history. One building you really can't avoid seeing from almost anywhere in Chinatown is this building. It's called the People's Park Complex, completed in 1973 and one of several buildings from Singapore's brief flirtation with brutalist architecture. For visitors, it's a good place to get a cheap foot massage from one of the many places on the upper floors. A one hour foot massage will set you back around $20. Pagoda Street is really the epicenter of Chinatown, at least for visitors. Head here for your souvenirs or maybe visit the Tintin shop. You can also try the infamous durian fruit, which has a real love it or hate it kind of taste. Banda Street, which is very near Chinatown complex, has one of my favorite vinyl record shops in Singapore and stocks a small but well curated selection of vinyl. For a good massage, try Hygieia opposite the Tooth Relic Temple. It's much nicer than what you'll find in People's Park. Finally, it's back to where we started, food. In Smith Street, you can find almost any local food. It's fun to order some chili crab, a couple of cold tiger beers, chill out and reflect on a great day exploring the many delights of Singapore's Chinatown.